Wow! If I had a nickel every time Goosebumps Horror Town had a werewolf themed Valentine's Day event, I have two nickels! Well, this isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice, right? And yes, I did steal that from Phidias and Ferb. Bite me! Hello and welcome to Goosebumps Horror Town. This is part one to our Valentine, My Harry Valentine event, which is event 30. Now, normally around this time I would show you the nice pretty picture, and unfortunately I can't because uh, I wasn't given any art assets, so whoops! I had to take a screenshot of my, my, my loading screen, so you wouldn't know that, but uh, that's what this is, so yeah, enjoy this picture. It's interesting that it kind of has this weird kind of Jekyll and Hyde, almost like uh, my evil twin type of thing going on with the broken mirror there, but eh, whatever, it's, it's there. Now, Something I did forget to show off back in um, the elf attack update was around, I think, November the 18th. I decided to redo my other account as like a like a, a base baby account as before. And uh, it seems like the team has been busy with kind of putting new art assets into some old items. Because, well, well, let me just show you this clip. Okay, so I don't know when this was added, but the ghostly mausoleum... Apparently that's a unique new item, so that must have been added a while ago. Weird. Yeah, I'm adding this into this in the um, whatever part it is because, you know, again, for posterity's sake. I don't know when this was added, but uh, yeah, at least it's, I know now. Yeah, so as you see, they added a new item into there, which is not really a lot, but it's something. I'll go more into details with the characters and whatnot, like I do in part 2 and part 3. So, for this one, it's gonna be basically just showing you something. So, in this case, it's gonna be the art cover, or the icon, which is this one here, which is Slappy with a bunch of love hearts and different colors, which I do actually dig. I like the fact that they kind of did this design here. It actually fits nicely with the game, so I won't be, like, kind of going poo-poo on it, so... Yeah, good for them. They they did something that actually fits with the theme and actually had Slappy front and cover because, you know, he is the star of Goosebumps, however. But, yeah. Anyways, we'll continue back for where we last left off from part two of the Elf's Attack back in uh, January the 8th of 2024. So, enjoy this long ramble before we get to the actual update. But, yeah, I time-stamped everything, so enjoy. Well, Christmas stuff's still going on here. I ended the Christmas, and now we're beginning this one. Hi. This is Event 30. No idea what it is. Um, might be Valentine's Day. It might come through. I don't think so, but I don't know anymore. January is going to be that month where we find out exactly what's been going on, for the most part. So this should be interesting. Uh, while I'm at it, might as well throw this out here. The artist who, there is an artist who was working for Pixel, and she seems like she's doing a lot of the artwork for, like, not only for the Adams bit of Snoopy, but also with this game. She's like, most of it's coming from her. I think her and another person, but she's been willingly showing off some of the artwork. So some of the elves and whatnot I showed you, that actually came from her. So... You know, thanks to her, not so much the other guy. Because I don't know why. <sighs> Frustration. If only he, um, as well as, look, as long as he gives me the stuff for the updates, for the main updates, we should be okay. But, man, this is getting really pain and it's a real pain. Uh, anyways, besides that. She has shown some stuff she did during the uh, involvement she had with uh, the last event. This one here. Yeah, Trap in the Circus of Fear. Now what's interesting is Reptile Boy over here. There was another version of him that, he, that they decided to do. <laughs> that I guess they rework, but uh, here he is. Ooh, that is some, uh, that is a, oh boy, that is a, that is a, certainly a, a face the mother would love. <laughs> oh, oh God. Yeah, um, good thing they did change it, but, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, well, I mean, she made it public, so I'm allowed to show it. But yeah, it's interesting when you come across stuff like that, but yeah, might as well show that off. Anyways, I'll come back when new things happen and, and information out of the blue, but uh, probably slow sailings for now. I'm going to try not to make it too long, but we'll see. So I'm making this video because it's been a day or so, right? Oh, thanks. But um, the I've decided to contact um, the director to see if there is some sort of NDA I can sign. Just so I have a good idea what the heck is going on with the game. I don't know if there is any. Probably won't be nothing. But we'll see. But the real reason I'm making this is that on Snoopy, the... Um, lead designer for Pixel had made himself well known present. Like I've seen him around, but I didn't know what he was until he officially announced it. So we got a replacement for who Thomas, uh, you know, replacement for Thomas last year, officially. So my guess is I'm gonna see if I can contact him because at worst I can see from him what's going on, but. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I guess I'll be back within a week's time to see what's going on. Okay, it's the next day, so uh, some update from what I can see. So, it looks as though that um, I saw the post on Snoopy, and he recently did another one for Adams. And it seems as though that he's the new lead, develop lead designer for the company. So basically he is what took Thomas's role officially. Meaning that I guess last year they didn't really have a team lead designer. I mean they had probably somebody step in to fill the role temporarily because of their position, but they weren't official, I guess. So they found somebody who finally took the place and he's being more communicated now. He's going ahead and basically talking to people saying, Hey, just so you know, uh, I'm my name is this. I am the lead developer for this game. And uh, here's what's going on right now for like what we're planning for this year for this uh, for each game is unique. And then he goes ahead and says stuff like, Oh, if there's something you want to see or something we should focus on, let us know down below in the comments and all that and more. So it seems like he wants to be more communicated. So my hope is that this is the next Thomas and I can talk to this guy directly and hopefully I have a better idea what's going on as far as this game's concerned because I can understand the other guy I was talking to, he's more of the creative content director, which means that he's more responsible for updates. So as far as things go, it'll be interesting, like, you know, he's going to be busy doing content stuff and whatnot, so yeah, I mean... We'll see what happens. Maybe we're lucky. Anyways, there's another few days left to find out what comes in. My guess is some sort of book. Maybe if we're lucky, we get two. But something I want to note here, uh, if he is watching this, and I do want to make mention of this, but um, when you do bring back special books, you need to change this. So that way it's saying exactly where you can getting this stuff from. Because all the time it says, oh, have Mrs. Dark do something. And she can't do it because this was taken from previous events. Like, they've done this in the past. Like, if, if I remember correctly, let me go over to, like, uh, an example. I guess Monster Blood. Let's see this, for example. Yeah, like, it actually tells you stuff like, you know. Actually, does Walter actually do that? I don't think he does. Uh, I think I'm noticing something that's going on right now. Give me a sec. Let me see this. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, so this is a... Oh, God. Okay, so this has been a game... Okay, so I guess one of the biggest problems... Uh, currently, what I've seen, somebody was saying... Uh, someone... Uh, um, uh, someone in the community was saying that they were having trouble trying to get some of this stuff here. Like, the paint and stuff. It seems like Jonathan Chiller is the only character who can do this. 
and to get that you're basically looking at the random drops so I guess it makes it like they look to make sure it's plausible to beat but it seems as though it's like I don't know it I get that, you know, we like new stuff to come in, but sometimes we also don't want to break it, too. And something else I'm going to be talking about, I've noticed a lot of people had complaints about how I get, how do you get certain money, or how this is supposed to go. And I think something must have happened, I don't know when this must have happened, they must have done this maybe back in 2021 or something, but they must have affected the way to level because it's a lot harder at some point. Like, when you get to, like, the first, like, 10 levels is fine. Then you get to level 20 or so. And that's when it becomes an issue. Because that's when content starts to drought. And then you have a big thing of nothing until later on. So, maybe you should try to fill it up so that way you got people to be able to actually get some event stuff going because as of right now one of the biggest problems is that because this game was dead and kind of came back from the grave there's whole point is this kind of thing so i'm hoping this new designer can actually come in and assist and kind of help with some of the quality of life stuff just kind of fix some things on the side here like you don't need to really put new features like we could be good with the content updates we've got so far like the events and then the books that's like that's fine just so long as it makes it a little bit more easier for newer players as well as other players because the last thing i want to do is have people come in and be like oh you know blah blah, blah. you know i don't know how to do this grim what's going on grim it's only grim it's like i don't know i'm i people look at me as the face of the community because i'm the one guy who makes content for this game right but I don't work for the company. I don't know anything. I'm just as clueless as you are. So hopefully I get some sort of communications from somebody at the company. So that way I have some way to go, oh, okay, so I have a better idea of what's going on. That's my hope. Anyways, enough of the ramble. So hopefully when I come back, the update might hit next week. Um, last time in November, it hit on a Friday. And this seems to be ending on a Wednesday. So my guess is that we're probably looking at the same thing. Maybe it might come in on Wednesday. I I doubt it. If anything, I think Friday is going to be the thing they're going to hit it on. And my guess, it seems as though a lot of the game developers are kind of having it be done. Like the events so far for them are ending it, I think... I'm trying to open up a calendar here. Yeah, so it's ending like on the 30... So like three weeks, basically. So it seems as though... They're starting another event. Which I'm assuming will be another three weeks. So... By the looks of it... If pattern of behavior seems to be expected... We should get a new event... I'm calling it. If this update coming up is a special book like I predicted, then that means that the special event, event 30, will be held on Valentine's Day. That's when it's going to come into life. Because it seems to be popping in on a Wednesday. So that's my guess. Let's see if I'm correct with this. Uh, I'll be pleasantly surprised if the event actually happens in January, like within next week. I doubt it. Because of how they're trying to find ways to maintain money. Well, also, like, I don't know, man. I Let's just see what happens. Here's hoping for the best, but... Yeah, anyways, that's enough of a good ramble. So, yeah, that's where my thought process is right now. All right, so I was talking to Thomas recently, and he pointed something out to me, which I finally figured out. I found out. So the new lead designer is Nacho, the same guy who uh, who was the content director for Her Oasis. Oh, <laughs> oh, small world.
We meet again, dear friend. Uh, hopefully I get in contact with him. I did talk to him previously in the past when he was a content director. So hopefully I do get to hear from him. I do. I did left a comment. So I'm, I'm going to let him come to me. I won't go to him. Let's put it that way. So, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to throw that in there because uh, interesting. No wonder he used Pixie as his avatar. <laughs> of course he would. Uh, I find it hilarious that uh, they also did this on me. Lowered the price as soon as this was ending within two days. So, yeah. But hey, at least I'm archiving this for the uh, purpose. So, it's it's basically what happened with um the last event. So, yeah, makes sense. But anyways, yeah, there you go. And, uh, yeah, they used this nice red background rather than the other one, so I'm assuming red would have been the theme, which sucks. But, again, it's better than nothing. I'm just hoping that this year we actually get some good ones and this event coming up is worth it. That's all. Well, Wednesday the 17th, this pack is the last one. All the over here, not there anymore. Once you click this, that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. No more. So now, not cool. Got that. Cool. Um, now, we should see a special book come in. My guess is probably either today or Friday. Something's going to come in. I don't think it's going to be an event. I think if my prediction is correct, it should be Valentine's Day. But we'll see what happens and if there is a deal going on, how long it's going to be for. That'll give us a good idea what to expect. So yesterday, um, they actually ended up taking the server down for a bit for maintenance and then they brought it back up. Now, this is the only server they actually worked on. The Snoopy and Adams have not been touched. It's only this one. So, not sure exactly why, what exactly they have planned, but... Well, apparently it worked. Um, yeah, that's that seems to be the case right now. Um, there are other stuff that's been going on Goosebumps-wise with news, but I'm deciding to kind of hold that off and save it for my podcast, which you probably seen right now. I've made the Goosebumps Horror Town Terrorism podcast with uh, Vampire. So, had fun with that. So, yeah, it's going to be hard with kind of finding topics here and there. But most likely tomorrow, we should find out exactly what's going on. I believe so. Let's find out exactly if I'm correct. Why are you offering me Long Ben No Leg with his bundle thing here? Like, aren't you supposed to give me a special book or something? Or are we doing an event? Like, are we waiting until next week for an event? Maybe it's the latter. Hmm... Very peculiar. I wonder what's going on. Also, forty-four ninety-nine for the uh, ball. No, come on, man. Don't lie to me. It doesn't. It's not worth that much. Come on, really. Okay, why are they dropping me random things now? Is it just because, like, I don't think they're dropping me anything, but for some reason they just print random items here. God, this. The past update with the elves, man. God. Why? Okay, so I recently made a video talking about uh, my theory of what's going on. Why we didn't get a special book. And part of me thinks it's because they actually want to do an event this week. To start the February thing early. That way it gets into March and then we start from there. But who knows? I'm hoping we get something this week. That way, you know, we have some answers, hopefully. So, fingers crossed we finally do get something going on there. Also, I'm happy that the podcast went well, as far as the video stuff goes. Seems like people like it, so... I'm gonna have fun with the first episode once we officially get it done. Once we know what whatever this is supposed to be. So, as soon as I know, or something comes up, I'll record it. 
till then, I'm just going to be collecting stuff and start hoarding. I'm getting close to actually getting this, by the way. So, I'm going to unlock new land, so yippee. So, it's Wednesday. I'm kind of hoping that something gets on today, but there was a pop-up talking about a shock pack, which is just a filler thing. But again, they seem to be doing it Wednesdays, but I don't know. I kind of hope something gets updated soon and we actually get to know what exactly is going on because the silence is, does suck. Eh, hopefully something does pop in. Here's hoping. Wow! Oh my god, guys! Look at the updates here! Yay! No. No, it's not. But I've got this instead. Got Professor Shock's face. Oh boy! No. Uh, I just hate the silence. We got two games, Snoopy and Adams. They're just having their fun. And then Horror Towns is drowning. All the time. Anything, any news updates, just, just something would be fine and dandy. Until we get an update and see exactly what happens. Because I swear, if if Nacho doesn't say anything when the update hits, then that tells me that this game is just, you know, you know, <laughs> dead game. You know, funny again. Despite me trying to be, look, I'm trying to be as optimistic as possible. That only goes so far. It sucks, too, that this whole thing is because of Scholastics. They hate this series. They they do. They never they they didn't do anything with the series. Nothing. You know who you know the nineties and all that stuff. You know what that was done? Parachute. Parachute was the one who did all that. Scholastic didn't care. They just had it, and then they own the IP and they didn't do anything with it. They're just books. In fact, they hate it so much that they decided to give the licensing rights to Sony. So, yeah, they don't care. They really don't care. About the series. You know what they care about though? They like they get Five Nights at Freddy's. In fact, if anything, Five Nights at Freddy's is basically what Goosebumps used to be back in the 90s. Yeah. Them and their Harry Potter books. I know. I know you. I'm just, you know, I'm just so frustrated with this whole thing. Hopefully I come back soon with some updates or something good. But, you know, the only good thing is that I got the podcast going on. So I'm happy with that. I swear, if no updates hitting this week, I'm just going to do the podcast episode and we're just going to revisit an old event that's passed because I'm not dealing with waiting here all day. Actually, there is something I can do today. Like, if you're curious, it's still Thursday, the day after when I hoped something would pop in, but nothing popped in. So I got disappointed, but there is something I can do. Yeah. Yeah. Finally got this unlocked. Oh, man. I really just... I'm so pissed, man. This is the next thing we have to do. So I have to craft... Oh, good. I have to get myself the protocol stuff. Fantastic. All right. I guess I need to do some hope rings now. All right. I guess let's do that before I forget. Uh you know, 2021 at least got me some stuff to get things going, if that makes sense. So let's do this here. Uh, let's craft another one of these for now. There we go. So I'm going to be doing this for a while. All right. Well, that's it for now. Unfortunately. I guess I'll come back when this is done. Hopefully they also, like, I'm hoping Not Joke does come talking because, you know, he's like, ah, oh, tell us what you want to know. If, as soon as he does that, I'm not going to tell him any update ideas, like, you know, like event stuff. I'm going to let everyone else do that. I'm basically going to tell him about the Q&A stuff, like quality of life. This stuff needs to be fixed. They have to really go back and fix everything because this is this, like, they have to make this user friendly for beginners because... From what I hear, for some reason, ever since this game came back, it's like there's this huge grind in the middle of that. Like, when I first started back in 2018, 2019, it wasn't too bad to get to a certain progression. But now it's like, it's ridiculous. So, 
I don't know. They need to fix it because a lot of people have been talking about, like, yeah, screw this game. This game sucks. You need to spend money. Why? Why did this game have to die? Why did this game have to die back in 21 to 1? This is the only game that a lot of people care for me about. So, yeah, I'm going to denial again. I guess I guess we'll wait until Halloween, right? Unless we're lucky we get Valentine's Day, which is the hope, but we'll see. All right, so this is now done. I want to wait until this is loaded a little bit before I continue. Yay, look, land. Oh, boy. Time to put the trees down, so. So now we can have this fully closed properly. Right? That's, that's the plan. Anyways. Hold on. So I can't do that. Not there. So it's a slow thing. So I'm going to do this while I talk. So the thing is, I'm going to be doing my the first podcast episode officially with Vampire this weekend. Uh, uh, come on. There we go. So we got that going on. But... As this is doing it, we're going to be assuming we're not going to get an update so far. I think because if this was a special book, we would have gotten it by now. So something tells me January is a write-off. And I'm assuming the next thing is going to be the event in question, event 30. Which will be, I guess, Valentine's Day themed. As for what book, I'm not sure. And something scary I'm just thinking of right now. Just because if this is going to be a normal thing, like, because of how long this is taking, if this is, like, this is how long it's going to take them, it's at least four, four months. <laughs> if this is going to literally, realistically take them for an update to do it by four months, that means we're looking at February, June, and October. And then maybe a special book in between, and then, unless they want to do that... Weird thing in December. So Easter will get some weird, not a book thing, but some sort of rabbit spawn. God, I don't know what that's going to be. My hope is as soon as this official update hits that Nacho actually will make an introduction and then we'll find out more about what's going on. The other issue right now you might be thinking of like, why, why don't they say anything? Hmm? Why don't they say anything? Which... To be fair, I, I would totally agree. Like, why would they not say anything? But uh, I can tell you why. And there's a good reason for it. Also, I just noticed this is a weird off-color tree. Is there another off-color tree by chance? Kind of. I mean, yeah, I mean, they're over here. For the winter stuff. It's interesting that some of the stuff is snowed in and others aren't. Also, let me just see real quick because I didn't pay attention during the Christmas season. Is Halloween stuff still up for them? I know I'm all over the place, but, you know, you could have just zip-zoomed out of here. <laughs> if you're watching this, it means you actually give some sort of interest in my madness of looking at stuff here. But, um... Part of the reason why they don't say anything... Okay, so they did change it. Alright, so I remember I was watching last year and they didn't get to do it. So it seems like they, they paid attention to that detail at least. So the reason why I think this is going on is for a few reasons. The first one being that for some reason, lately they've been getting leaks and it's not just this game it's their other games now previously if you remember i would have gotten some you know like they would say hey grim uh here's what we got going on right but lately i've been saying well what what's going on how come there's no update nothing right well i think i know why apparently through other people and things 
they might have gotten spoiled from their previous updates. So because of that, and they don't want to spoil anything because, you know, they got they they were ruined previously. They decided to just kind of keep it to themselves. So they don't say anything until it's officially out there. It sucks, but I understand. My problem is, like, they don't have to say what update's coming up. I'm like, okay, whatever. But what bugs me is that there's no communication as far as when to expect something to come in, right? That's like, that's the only thing I'm actually caring for, what I want to know about, is what's going on. Because this game isn't like their two other games. There are two other games, it's like, we expect, okay, an update's going to hit this particular time, right? Both of them. But this game, no. This game is like, meh. Dead game. As I, as I joked previously. You know, the game's not dead. It just feels like dead game. That's the, that's the thing. There we go. Now it's kind of closed off, but not really. Now I just have to figure out what to do with all this stuff. I guess I have to decorate or something in the past. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But, um, yeah, look at that. They get to come and walk in. I have to raise more money and get all the other stuff, too. But, uh, yeah, this this whole thing kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, the first episode to the podcast should be fun. Uh, I'm going to think about what we can talk about as far as this thing goes. But by the time you see this, it's already done. So, But, yeah, um, that's where my thought process is. So I guess we just have to wait and see what happens. And just kind of play by ear. Kind of sucks, but there's not much we can do. So it's Tuesday the 30th of January. So we're getting close to finishing this month. So basically nothing new for this month. This month is a write-off, most likely. So I was currently deciding to say, you know what? You see this here? See how this is broken? Actually, that's weird. It drops me a mask. Oh, that's odd. Oh, something new. Anyways, yeah, so it's broken. So I ended up sending a message to Conti, you know, support, basically saying, hey, can you fix this? Turns out I'm not the only one with this issue, which is, you know, obvious. So apparently there's going to be a bug fix for this particular bug in the next update patch, which they basically said right here, we're coming with a new thing soon. So it sounds like indeed it's going to be an event. So they didn't say it, but the fact that they said through a patch, you know, it's the only thing. So, hopefully the new event will be coming very soon. Curious to see what book they chose, though. I'm kind of making this video real quick because um, it's Wednesday, so it's the last day of January. Yeah, that's nice. I feel like they just pop that in just to try to fill. I don't know. I feel like they need to do something else. I'm kind of hoping that we get something soon. I mean... I hate this waiting and not knowing what's going on type of thing. I'm hoping that they do some sort of update so that way I can go, ah, I know. But the reason I'm making this video is because something came across to me of my thought. So, personally for me, in my opinion, there are two things they can go with this. They're going to go with, the go with Slappy's Nightmare and kind of continue with that because, you know, have Jimmy O. James and all that stuff and maybe redeem the god-awful event from last year. Or... They can do something with the Haunted Mask. Now you might be wondering why am I saying the Haunted Mask? Well, last year for Snoopy, instead of doing Valentine's Day, they did the Masquerade Ball. And that's usually, it was, the reason they did that theme is because it's supposed to be uh, referencing Mardi Gras. Which is a famous holiday that's been celebrated, literally called Fat Tuesday. So this is the day before Ash Wednesday. And this is where normally this would go into you know, 40 days into Easter, right, for them, yeah, it's, it's a whole long story, but basically, it's a big celebration, and in New Orleans, it's a huge thing, it's like part of their culture, right, and that makes sense, because they're very, there's like French origins within New Orleans, but I digress, anyways, 
why I'm bringing up the mask is because, one, it's very popular, and two, you can do the Haunted Masquerade Ball as a theme. And he did help make it last year for uh, Snoopy. So it's a possibility that might be on his mind. And especially with that new show that came out that the Haunted Mask was literally just a plain mask that you would see in one of those masquerade balls. So I'm just saying it's very possible they might be doing something like that. As far as if, if they do that, I don't know what book they'll pick. And um, I don't know if they'll just be like... Something with how the haunted uh, Horrorland Carnival was when they just basically took in the horrors of Chiller's house, but they just made it into its own thing. So they do the same thing with the haunted mask because that's technically already in the game, and then they just make something new out of it. That's possible. So we'll see what ends up happening, but I'm I'm hopeful to see what comes up next. So let's hope something good comes out of it. Fingers crossed. You know what? Seeing how I'm not going to have, like, you know, I have too much of the money. I'm going to have to keep open these up anyways. And then put this stuff over here so they're all in one area. Yeah, I just have five banks. D don't question me. Uh, right, so it's now Thursday. And uh, the 8th, I believe. And uh, it's... I hate this because in my gut, as soon as I saw um, the update when it was going to end, I said to myself, I knew, I just know the update's going to hit on Valentine's Day. And it's going to be, and I was hoping that we'd get some sort of like thing in between, but I guess he's just like, eh, they can wait a little longer. I swear to, I swear. I swear, like, I guess I'll come back later on, just to show you when I move this stuff. But I swear, if you give us bride only on Valentine's Day, I'll be so pissed off. Really pissed off. Fingers crossed it doesn't happen. I mean, I guess for you, you hope it would happen, because it's like, ooh, entertainment. But, uh... Yeah, that's my guess. Let's see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Got a robot sale this weekend. Hopefully, during Valentine's Day week, which is coming up, we actually get the event. Here's hoping. Oh yeah, I forgot this. There. Got stuff now. So now I can move this to the water in the dark abyss so now everything is in one area for now my money stream <laughs> oh i guess not hmm there you go so now i can take this yeah see me smart. Anyways. Hopefully the next clip is something good. So we'll just be waiting still. It's now... Oh, nice. Love when that happens. Uh, right now it is... Yeah, thanks. So, I did get this. Um, it then it crashed. So let me try that again. Uh, so, I... The great now I forgot. It is now Sunday. The let me see what it was. The eleventh. Yeah, it's the eleventh. So it's the eleventh now, and something tells me within a few days we should get the event. That's my assumption is that it should be this week. I mean, it seems like that's the pattern of behavior. We should see something again. I'd be pissed off if it's a book. But anyways, one thing I want to note is that during the weekend, there was an announcement that was made uh, involving Goosebumps related, which I'll probably talk more about in the podcast a little bit. And that is that the TV show, the one that most people have a problem with, has been announced to have its season two. And during this time, 
what was interesting about it is that the sequel of sorts is going to be what is known as an anthology. Now you might be thinking, oh, does that mean it's going to go into like every episode being a special book? No. What they are meaning by anthology is basically how the American Horror Story is set up. If you don't know, allow me to explain. American Horror Story is a TV series that every season it's a new story. It may have the same actors, it may have the same kind of like characters sometimes, but most of the time it's new story, new characters, new actors, what have you, involving into a new storyline. So with that in mind, it's basically telling us that the story that ended on part one will not continue. And hopefully they'll actually move on with that, which I'm glad because, you know, I think they ended it off on a pretty good note. You know, it's like, oh, it could continue, you know, but no. <laughs> no, I, I'm good with can do. He's, he's done. <sighs> Anyways, the other thing that I was interested in was better understanding with the whole what happened in 2021. So I was listening into the Goosebumps crew, which is another podcast, which is like with um, Goosebumps number one Aussie fan, Bjorn, um, the guy who does... Um, Steam Hams, or, you know, uh, Steam Lord, I think it's what it's called, but he has his Goosebumps channel, which is where it's hosting, and then two other co-hosts, but one of the interesting things about it is that they've been doing interviews with people within the Goosebumps sphere, so they had Jim Jacobus, of course, but then they also had people, like, who were uh, prop designers and even actors from the show, of the 1990s, which was interesting. And then not only that, but uh, recently, one of her newer episodes was talking to the creator as well as the um, lead guy for, um, I believe it is... Let me just see this. Yeah, it's it's for, um, what do you call it? Trick or Treat Studios which are the people who made the interesting masks, but they also do other stuff too with involving horror stuff. So it's not just Goosebumps. But when they were talking to them, they actually talked about the rights and how it works kind of deal. So how it ended up working, and now I better understand what was going on. So they were talking about how there was a point where nothing got done because they were in the middle of disputing who owns the rights. And I was like, ah, so I know when that happened. So, long story short, when Goosebumps was coming into TV, uh, the movies back in 2015, Scholastic made a deal with Sony to have a bit of a licensing rights as far as, like, making deals with stuff goes. But the thing is, Scholastic's also had a part in it as well. So, they had a bit of a thing there. But... And that would explain why, when they were announcing this game, it went to Scholastics and not Sony. You know, which is odd. But one of the interesting things about it is that during this time, back in 2021, they were trying to figure out who owns what, or who what, what the whole deal was, because, you know, they said that they had the rights to it, but then, you know, they, they do stuff like this, so... Long story short, by the end of the year of 2021, they finally made the agreement that Scholas uh, Scholastics owns the IP, but licensing for Goosebumps will be done through Sony. So Sony, moving forward, will be dealing with all things doing with the IP. And that's probably why they didn't make any announcement when it comes to with the TV show during that time, because they wanted to make sure they had full rights to it. That makes sense. So basically kind of like the pause incorporate scenario with, um, you know, but anyways, so because of that, that explains why 2021 had nothing to do. And they had this weird predicament when they were in this contract that it can do anything with. So they ended up making an, a change of it, but yeah, it's just odd. So hopefully this year we get something better. We get a revival of sorts, but we'll have enough weight I'm seeing. Hopefully this is the last video now, but hopefully the next part is actually going to be the new update. 
So I do apologize on this long wait until we get to where we need to get to, but hopefully I put some timestamps on here. Well, happy Valentine's Day. As you can see, no update at all. And, um, you know, I, I expected something to happen, but yeah, nothing. No, not even a stupid pop-up. So, I don't know. Maybe it's delayed. Maybe we get it Thursday or Friday. But I'm just kind of upset with how this has been going as of late. To the point where I've decided to make a post on the group that basically just put my grievances. Now, I didn't say it in a mean way. I kind of did it in a sense of like a, you know, a bit of frustration, but not like mean in a sense. And I kind of had the picture be that of the sad cat with the thumbs up emoji because I thought that was kind of like, oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> cute. Like, you know, me, the person, like, okay. You know, but anyways. <sighs> I'm just frustrated by this game is just a black sheep, you know. I hate that Snoopy is the breadwinner in this case. Because I played Snoopy. God help me, I can't get into it at all. Even Halloween, I can't get into it anymore. It's just, it's boring. It's nothing, it's not for me. And yet, it's more, people love that. I don't know why, but they do. They do. And then you have Adams, which is the only closest thing we got to a spooky game. But unfortunately, Adams doesn't have the same charm as this game does. And, you know, in the sense of the memes and the and the whole thing. Like, you know, I had fun with this game, right? And, you know, don't get me wrong. I try my best when it comes to Adams. Like, you know, Fester can only go so far. But I don't go as far. I don't do memes in the beginning of the video. I don't do a whole lot of stuff, right? I mean, I'll say this, when the game died, when they did the Full Moon Fever update, there was a bit of peace, because at that point we're like, okay, the game's never coming back, we can we can live long now, we can move on from this, right? But then the game came back in 2022, and ever since it came back, it's been a mess. It's been a mess of just updates and just just a bunch of nothing, like... I want something, like, I just want consistent updates. And we were starting to get that in October, right? And then all of a sudden, now it's just a drop-off, this long period. I'm assuming it's because the next update better be the event, right? And, you know, if, if they don't want to go ahead and actually get a community manager to kind of help with communications between the teams, because that's what they've been lacking for such a long time, and the other two games, they haven't noticed because, you know, they're like, oh, we can survive it. No, this game needs a community manager because it's not like the other game. The other games are like, oh, this update's about to end in the timer. Next one pops in. Oh, next update here. It's consistent. There's always an update. This game is like, update and... Yeah, it's just waiting around, like, you know, wondering what's going on. And, you know, and you know, at this point, it's like, if you're not going to do anything with this, you should just let this game... Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and... Yeah, see what I mean? You see how I've been memeing with this? I have fun with this game. I've been, like, consistent with this game because there's so much potential with it. I have fun with this one. Hell, I even go as far as to make a podcast for crying out loud. I don't say that to the other games. So why is this game being treated like the black sheep? Uh, you know, see you in April. Because it seems like at this point, it's like every six months we're getting an update. Because, uh, screw us, I guess. Ooh, boy. Okay, okay. All right. So. Wow. They've updated this game. A day late, mind you. But hey, we're here now. And by the sounds of it, I'm surprised I didn't change this again. I guess this is his template now. This is just what we're going to be staying here. Oh boy, okay. So, judging on what we have just seen, it's called My Harriest Valentine. So, they're taking My Harriest Event... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I just realized. Oh, no. Oh, the memes. 
Is this going to be controversy number three? I hope not. So it seems like this time around, they're taking it differently. So before it was, oh, they were dogs, right? But now it's like, oh, no, they're werewolves. Very unique story that they decided to go with for Valentine's Day. But hey, you know what? I'm looking forward to it. 13 new quests, which means, let me see this. That means, let's see if we're doing eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we have another extra one. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out. I am, I'm happy. Oh, I am so happy that we get this here. This is going to be, <sighs> I was so bleak yesterday. But, you know, it was a belated Valentine's. It was a day late, but it's here now. You know what? I'm looking forward to this. I'm I'm seeing... Let's see what happens. Hopefully I get all the pictures and stuff ready for the next one. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the John Trump memes are plenty. Okay, yes, yes. You're all laughing at me right now. I get it. I'm sorry. It's called My Harry's Valentine. What am I supposed to suspect, right? I thought that was what they were doing, but no. So the name is not My Harry's Adventure. It's How I Met My Monster. That's that's the book they're adapting this information from. I've not read this book because it's a most wanted. And to tell you the truth, I think this is the first most wanted that isn't a special book being adapted into the game so i'm curious to see what he decided to do with this so you know it's not a well-known book but hey i'm i'm curious so let's see what ends up happening with this one and uh hope for the best but yeah <laughs> should have known what the hell's wrong with me okay now i feel bad i feel <laughs> i feel stupider Remember when that little rant I did with the whole, well, Valentine's happened and nothing happened there? Well, I swear to God, after I left, like, it was around 6, I left, update hit. Because I was notified by Jacob, I'm going to shout you out, bud. He pointed it out to me, and he's like, oh, the update's here at 6 p.m., like almost 7 p.m. I just wrote it off. <laughs> So here I was, update, supposed to be here, but no. <sighs> All right. Anyways, I guess I'll come back later on when the event officially hits live, which most likely will be today. We'll see. And uh, looking forward to seeing what this ends up happening. And yeah, I, I am following Gold Blake for a certain reason. This is our second Halloween event. <sighs> our second Valentine's event with a werewolf, so this will be interesting. Well... It is Friday the 16th, and as we can see, give me a sec, hold on, it's loading, also the snow, oh no, the snow is still here, oh yeah, yeah whatever, thank you, there. yep, yeah, there we go, no update, yay, no update, <laughs> okay, so, first of all, thank you developers for actually going ahead and talking to us so now we are aware of what's going on apparently probably the reason why we didn't get this right away was that they were running into an issue and they were hoping to get it done for this week by friday but it turns out it's a lot more bigger than they thought it was going to be they didn't explain exactly what the issue was but it's it has to be pretty nasty to not want to release. So I'm going to give them the benefit, the credits on that. Because again, they do want this update to get done because they don't get paid, right? If if they don't get the update out. So I understand the frustration with that too. So, you know, I also love the fact that they kind of sprinkled some Valentine's Day stuff all over the place, including this stupid sign. You will forever be haunted because of the... Uh, Thing you're associated with but anyways so what i can pretty much give a guess is for now let's go ahead and just kind of give an idea of what i think might come into this because we already know 
what this is book based off and all that stuff and all that thing. One thing I'm going to state is I love the theming of it. I love what the, the my Harry Valentine is like. Yeah, that's I get what you're going with there. I love the fact that the the actual um, whoever did design the logo did a really great job because it felt like it was a horror town logo, but kind of changed slightly to make it like, ooh, look, it's like it's hairy, right? So again, cute design. I love it. Very aesthetically pleasing. Um, one other thing I was going to state is I believe the building, which I'm going to guess it might be here, thinking about it. Yeah, so the in the story, it's called like something house and it is stupid that it's called that not not the name but the fact that they called the apartment building a house it's not a house it's an apartment building stop calling it a house so i don't know stein was having a, th a thing that day so anyways it sounds like it's funny because this book I'm assuming he picked this book because he looked at the cover and he was like, Oh, I love wolves? Love! That's Valentine! <laughs> if that's why he chose it, and the fact that it's a new book, I'm going to be interested to see how he goes about with future updates. But again, we have to wait and see for this update to hit. And to hear from the team what they plan on doing this year. So that way we have a better idea what to expect. Because I don't think... I think they want to get an update every month. But I don't think it will be possible with the size that they have. And realistically looking. So we might have it every other month or something like that. Like what they've been trying to do. But I don't know how realistically it's going to be. Especially if they're having problems with this right now. So... <sighs> I will we'll have to wait and see exactly what goes on. Anyways, so with that being said with this book, it's interesting that originally in the book it was just a monster. They didn't explain like what monster it was. It kind of was showing like a werewolf, but they never really mentioned werewolves in this one. It was like, oh, they're just a monster. <laughs> they they could have just one eye, like an extra eyeball. <laughs> it's a monster. You know what I mean. But, um, yeah, for this one, though, the monsters are werewolves. So they're going to go in that route. So I guess in a way, if you're wanting a werewolf, a fever swamp. No. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say Valentine Night Fever. If you wanted the Valentine Night Fever to come back, I guess this is your spiritual successor in a sense of a werewolf Valentine's Day. Because I don't think we're getting that thing back ever. Because... The dancing zombies, we can got we got one here, right? There he is, right? Wolf, uh, Will Blake was the special character, and he has his own scene and whatnot. And uh, we'll just go from there. It's also fascinating to me that they decided to go ahead and the. I'm interested to see how the characters look in the game. We got to see what. Noah slash Bean looks like, and he kind of looks. I'm sorry to say this. He he reminds me of Eric, <laughs> Eric Tyson in this game. So he's a white version of him. I don't think that's gonna be the case, but we'll wait and see because he kind of looks like him. We'll we'll see how this turns out. But um, he is an interesting character. I think he fits well with the game, especially with the personality and all that. So he stands out. I'm it's also interesting that it's cool that the cover art they used for it. Um one thing I wanted to throw out there is I think they also did a nod to I'm your evil twin because of the glass and the way it's shaped and the fact you get to see a little sneak peek of what what his monster form might look like, right? But yeah, it's it's that weird kind of broken image, a mirror. With what part of the face kind of hiding. You know what I mean? So we did get to see Bean. So we know him. But we don't know the friends Liza. And um, I'm thinking the other name. It starts with an M. Oh, God. 
I'm sure as soon as I see it, I'm like, ah, that's what it is. But for the life of me, I can't think of it around the top of my head right now. It's it's a weird name. A name that you don't really see a lot. I I want to say Morton, but I don't think it... No. Uh, God, that's bugging me. By the way, I just want to say this. It's interesting how Lizza... <laughs> It, you look at it and it's like a Lisa, but you put another S in there and it becomes Liza. It's strange, but the, our our language is screwed. Let's put it that way. As as we saw with the broken grammar. <laughs> uh, anyways, my prediction. So, we can either see this being an adaptation of the book like we've seen before but in the valentine's day theme which would be interesting because they're taking place in horror town which is full of monsters so instead of an apartment building full of monsters like well everybody's a monster so i mean we have somebody who is a werewolf so you're not really special i'm interested to see if will actually takes part in this because he is a werewolf the only kind of werewolf we have right now so if he's not part of this, I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> uh, the bully character is probably Marty, that's for sure. I'm intrigued to see how this turns out. Because I'm curious if they're going to fall to the book, or this is going to be a Egg Monster from Mars situation, where it's a after the fact, like after the event happens. This is where we're at. So... I want to wait and see what ends up happening. I'm curious. But I am intrigued at the same time. Speaking of, there he is. Hey, look. It's Johnny Bravo himself. There you are. You 90s wannabe. Yeah, cool kid. Yeah, them shades. Looks like Dustin. <laughs> the face, anyways, looks like a Dustin. Anyways. um, Yeah. It's it's interesting how um, it'll be interesting to see how this turns out, especially with the look. So Will Blake's version is more of a feral wolf look, but I'm sure these ones are going to be more of an actual werewolf, like half human, half wolf type of breed by the looks of it. So I'm intrigued to see how they look in the game. Um, but yeah, it can either be the former, which is basically what I think they're doing or this could be a this is after the fact that Bean knows he's a monster so this is like I I don't think that's where they're gonna go with but I'm gonna I'm, I'm curious to see how this turns out because we we most likely won't get Bean until the very end of the event so I'm curious to see how this turns out also I hate how these part ones are getting longer and longer and yet when you finally get to the end of the up, like after like what seems like two hours, it's like, ah, here it is. Finally, the update's here. And it's like one, like probably half an hour. And then that's it. So apologies on that. I'll probably do a timestamps on stuff of this stuff so you can skip it. But it's just for archivable sake. So that way you get to see my thoughts and opinions at the moment. And also things are going on right now. But yeah. I'm intrigued to see how this turns out. By the way, I want to say one more thing. It seems like they just love the the background for um, my event to be afraid, be very afraid. Or, you know, the event I came from. Because this is the background they used for be afraid, be very afraid. And they've just been like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, stick it like that. We'll stave it here. Because, you know, you have other other backgrounds you can use, right? Other like i get it okay here's like i'm gonna say this right now you don't need to change add new things to it like i get that you don't have to do that but you could change it right there's a valentine's themed one you can just place on top of it maybe i mean i'm assuming you just copy paste it down i mean that's what happened with the old one but yeah. Oh, by the way, I love... I'm just going to throw this out there. I love how in Egg Monster from Mars... Mars? Yeah, Mars. That uh, to solve the problem of the promenade situation, they're like, one big item here, 
one big item here and one big item here. So the items themselves are the promenade, <laughs> part of the promenade pit, like they, 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 uh, like almost like a puzzle piece. <laughs> That's how we'll solve it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's fun stuff indeed, but anyway, that's that's it for now. Um, hopefully, we'll be back sometime uh, next week at some point when it officially hits, and hopefully, uh, this turns out well. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm excited to see exactly what this turns out to be, and I'm how I'm I'm gonna love. I'm gonna be excited to see how these. Um, I'm going to say thir so 13 would be 20, uh, 26 dialogues. Man, that would be interesting to see how this turns out. All right. Well, I'm excited. And uh, this is going to be quite an interesting part. It's a belated Valentine's, but hey, that's what happened last time. At least it's, it's still in February, so I'll give them that. Hold on, folks. I just realized something. Because we got this update now, then I'm just going to want to look at something real quick. Oh. Well, I guess that... Yeah. Oh, well. I guess... By the way, why is she dropping me popcorn still? Alright, well. That failed my purpose. But the other thing, too, is that I read it closely and it seems like they said they had a major server issue i wonder if that had anything to do with the update they did back in january it sounds like that might be a possibility because that was the only game that had an update recently so i'm curious to see what was the problem but we'll see again <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll be back hopefully when this is up. At least I'm not going insane. Well, part ones are gonna be me going insane until the update hits. That's just how it is now. Yeah, so it's interesting. I'm just making this recording. I know. I've, I've been stalling a whole lot. I, I apologize, but I was re watching the Valentine of Poison Lake and I just noticed something. And I didn't notice this one in particular because of the fact that the, um, you know, this update didn't come back until like years later. But some point in 2020, they did actually, and I did point this out, that they did fix his face. Because before, it was just stationary. He didn't do anything. But now, as you can see, he's smiling and he's kind of like singing. He's like, oh man. And he's like, hmm. And he's writing it down. So it's interesting to give him more animation, like more emotion. So you can tell that they've added some minor details. And you really don't pay attention to that. Again, it's funny when you rewatch stuff and you say, hey, wait a minute, this actually changed. And it's so small at first, you don't really realize it in such a long time passed. But then when you watch it, you notice it. So that's all I wanted to say. It's something I didn't forget to, I did not get to uh, say during my uh, Valentine of Poison Lake stuff. So. Here it is now, on the Valentine's Day update. Belated, but hey, it's in the month of February, so whatever. It should be fun regardless. Well, today's the 19th, which is President's Day in the United States. And some parts in Canada, I think it's Family Day, if I can remember the top of my head. Yeah, I guess another holiday, but, you know, better late than never. They apparently fixed this update uh, issue, whatever it is, and they kind of threw it out there live. Mind you, it was literally late into the evening, so we don't know exactly all the stuff that's been added just yet, so just have to figure that out as we go. Alright, so Harry Valentine Pass. Okay. It looks like... Alright, so it looks like... I'm assuming that's gonna be Wolf's Bane, and that is a chocolate... So I'm guessing the chocolate, <laughs> the chocolate bones are uh, the currency. Although that's very weird for that to be the case because, you know, oh yeah, and also the key lock and all that stuff looks like something that would have been set with Adams, but, you know, change it slightly. Right, so we got that going on here. And, uh, huh, that's weird. So what's this? Dogbuster. 
Interesting. So we have 24 days to complete this. Weird. So it's just the one? Hmm. So I think this might be a unique item, so... Okay. Well... Unless, of course, EDMF meter. Hmm. I think there still might be a little bit of wonkiness, but they might correct it when we get to part two, when we finally get to know exactly what's been going on here. Because, um, I'm not showing any of the... Yeah, so, I think they might have to fix that. God, Slappy, stop it. Right, so... We got that going on for ourselves. So, I guess, let's take a look at the promenade now. So, this, I'm assuming, is Creepy Valentine Store. I guess it's not really a Valentine Store. It looks like it's more so. Um, <laughs> it looks like, uh, I'm reminded of that song, Watermelon Sugar High. Watermelon Sugar High. Yeah. It's like a gumball machine. I guess it's... whatever. They want to be unique. So we got this, which I'm assuming is the scene. Yeah, sure enough it is. The sternum house. By the way, why is it called the sternum house if it's actually just... It's an apartment complex? I mean, I guess it's... You know what I mean. So I guess that's Monroe, and then that's Liza. Interesting. It'd be interesting to see them out and about, so I guess I have to take a look at that when I can. And I'm assuming that weird donut shop is our crafting. So might as well take a look into that now. So yeah, new event system. So we've seen this before. Craft sell event items, obtain event points, unlock new seasonal contact as you reach more event levels. Redeem the special request to receive unique buildings. Event is exclusive, blah, 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 blah. So it seems as though, yep, so it looks like it is just like from the past. So, um, yeah, I, I guess it saves them on money. But, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt you to kind of go into the editing and just kind of change the hue a little bit to make it more Valentine-y colors, but... All right, whatever, you do you. Whatever. All right, so what is this called? Wolf's, wolf flower. I, I guess you can call it a wolf flower. Creepy flowers. All right, by the way, you know, the reward is giving us this flowers here. Why exactly? Because, oh, Cher can do something. That's interesting. Why give us this? Because it's useless to us right now. I mean, I guess good for crafting at the moment, but you know, it wouldn't make sense to have this first, but all right, whatever. So let's see here. First item we get is the milkshake store, which, um, yeah, I, I would assume so. Noah's dad's car. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. We got the love creepy tree. Very interesting. Burger balloon. Okay, so I think Burger Balloon is actually the name of the shop that they were in, in the store. So I give them credit that they're kind of putting some stuff here based off of the book, so it's not too out of there. Lover's Cave. Oh yeah, when I think lovers, I think like a scary wolf cave. Mmm, very romantic. The hell is this? Dark Alley Zone. Re really? Come on. <laughs> It reminds me of that scene from the, the from the disaster artist. Wow, that that background looks so good. Thanks. It looks exactly when one outside. I know it, right? Why don't we film outside? Because that's not what we do in films. <laughs> uh, oh god, what is this? This looks like werewolf plushy love. My god, they basically took the the look of the cover art and was like, yeah, let's make that into a plushy, marketable plushy. Please don't turn me into marketable plushie. School's pet fair. Yeah, actually, you know what? The school pet fair, I think it's pretty dark in some form there. Oh my god, what is this? Harlan the bear. 
Okay. Chain broken heart. Like, they just basically made a chain shop, but just shape it into a heart shape. Come on, okay. You, give them this. They're creative. I'll give you that. It also goes up to 33. So it looks like we got a statue here for the end. 28 days, by the way. Man, that's long. So that's going to take us into March. I guess April is going to be our next update because there's not much time for March. Noah's house. So yeah, so this basically follows like last time. So yeah, figures as much. All right, let's see this. So wolf bouquet, love necklace. Mm, that was lovely. Uh, bitten chocolate box. Comes with the wolf Valentine's gift. All right, so seems like they're still doing this thing. Which, you would think that they would change it, but nope. Red Heart Milkshake. Got the gerbils of love. Which is cute and adorable. And yep, in order to make it, you need flowers and cockroaches. Makes sense to me. Moonlight Candies. Which, uh, basically, Moonlight Jawbreakers. I guess it's Jawbreakers if you're taking, like, yo-yos. <laughs> Again, creativity. And of course, the monster helper. Wolf Sour. What does that say? Extra bear, extra hairy. <laughs> God, it reminds me of that ghost energy drink thing that uh, Vampire was just yapping on about. Alright. And here are... Alright, so My Hairy Valentine Pass. At least they fixed the the stuff so it makes sense now so we got that we got monster chirrup and love superheroes and then we also got the sternum amigos last scare all right so it seems like they are following from last time so you need so the last item is a scene so that's actually cool that they actually are doing this and i'm assuming that this also includes Noah as a scare character, because knowing him, he is a monster. Now, I'm curious to see exactly, is he going to be the end? Like, as far... Ah. Uh, oh, you know what those are? Those probably are the, the things in question. Man, it's going to be a while for me to figure out what exactly is going on. I have to wait until tomorrow. For them to post stuff so that way I'm able to see exactly who does what. Now, I did actually... No. Game, you stupid. I clicked the I button. Not the buy button. Stop it. <laughs> now, I did look into the other game. So I know some characters are getting into this. So I know our dear friend Susie as well as... Um, Susie, the, the Marcus, so it seems like some characters from the winter stuff is being part of this quest as far as being involved in some things. But I'm not sure if any of them are animated, so one of them must be. So we got a Bouncing Heart, Zombie Chirrup, Bunny Statue, which drops every three hours for that. Mask Mutant Plushie, yes, because I think Eric is going to love that one. And then because it's got the Creepy Flower event points and then all that stuff. And then we got this here, Love Superhero, Love Hammer, Broken Love Sign. All right, and that's it, we're there. All right, so at least that gives us that, which means this is Lovely Madness. So Super Love Car, Rotten Chocolate, and there you go. So like, it's interesting that characters are associated needing those items are in turn able to get it via that yeah so weird so these are only available for 27 days yet this is giving us an extra day hmm also I think this is bugged so I'm gonna have to wait because I think I saw there were three uh, things available and then it just popped this in so I think they need to fix that because I think that's gonna be the next week because i think next week there's gonna uh not next week after this event ends there's gonna be a week of um something to go on about so we'll just have to wait and see exactly what ends up happening there but yeah we have a bunch of stuff to kind of do and look forward to 
Yeah, first first reactions, so. We got a bunch of this stuff here. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I guess I should uh let's just see this. Yeah, so so you still are able to do that. I guess you can still make money. Eat some chocolate. Chocolate? <laughs> chocolate! Alright, I'm not, not going to do the meme, but, uh, yeah. So I got Mortman. I think I'm going to leave my, my winter stuff for later. Let's see what you can do. Yeah, so you can eat some chocolate. So it seems like eat some chocolate is the generic... Oh, this is what characters do type of thing. All right. Oh, what's this? So Lucy waiting for Noah. What is happening? Search for clue. Okay, so it seems like Lucy is going to be the main focus this time around. All right. No, sorry. Get 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 out of here. What about Marty, bully boy? Yeah, that's what I thought. So eat some chocolate. Uh, milkshake dance. Interesting. Oh, look at this. New monster bullet. So they actually did fix this now. So you do need the character in order to show. So they must have fixed it so that way it doesn't show up unless you have the character. That's my guess, so interesting. Cool. All right, so I'm glad to see that they fixed that issue. That's cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm just... So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Interesting. All right. Oh, the one thing, though, is that... Oh, no, it's not him. It's Dustin, right? Speaking of... Oh, yeah, there's Susie. So I'm going to see her for a quick second. But first, I'm going to eat some chocolate because there's nothing really for you to do right now. So let's see this. Too cute. Okay, so she does have something here. Oh my god. If she's the one who's animated, I I, I basically will just love this update. <laughs> oh, at least I'm glad that Susie isn't part of something. So yeah, as I suspected, it seems like characters that are available here are going to be the ones that they're going to focus on. So even Dr. Gray is going to be a part of this, so that's interesting. Yeah, so it's interesting to see exactly what is new here as far as, like, what's been added and what's been taken away. <laughs> oh, the creepy mirrors are still here? Why? We don't need that. I thought that would disappear, but okay, I guess it's part of this now. All right. Cool. I guess. That's something. Just looking here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... I'm just looking real quick because, oh, look at that. You can actually get the milkshake store as is. <laughs> so you don't even need to. Okay, well, that defeats the purpose then. So I guess Marty can do his thing. Grindstone looks new too. It looks like they've, yeah, you know what? I've just noticed the storage supplies. So I don't think this is new. I think they redesigned the items. Looking at this. I think that's what they did. Yeah, so they must have redesigned these. Because I could have sworn they looked different before. Yeah, so I guess they must have. Every time you look at this game, something new has popped in. Either that or you just not paid attention and it's just something that's always been there. But your dumb brain is like, oh no! You know. Which is not normal. Like, the only way to find out is to go look at past videos and then confirm or deny that I'm crazy. Oh, so they've... Valentine Neon Signs has also been made available. I'm assuming if they did that during the... Uh... Alright. Let's just see how far this goes and what else. If there's anything else that's been added as far as new things go... I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It just seems like... Again, I have to look at this because, God help me, I, I tend to put stuff down and then it's like, Oh, nope, sorry. Nope. 
And I get it too. They want to save on money, so they're just reusing as much assets as they can, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so it seems as though... Yeah. So that's what it looks like there. Alright, let's just see for monsters if they actually did add... Out of curiosity, our dear friend there. Because I don't think they did. Doesn't look like it. No, they didn't. I was looking for Ellie because it seems as though for Ellie. Yeah. Weird. Not sure why. That's odd. They really need to fix Zeke, by the way, with his quest line. This is one of the things they have to do. Alright, so. I guess. Yeah, we got that going on here. So. We have to deal with that. It'll be a long time. I know. Just give me a moment. Alright. Easy boy. Easy. For that. And I'm just curious. I want to see something. Oh. I'm. Uh. Okay. Uh. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I doubt me going to do the sell Christmas tree is going to get me that item. All right. I mean, it looks like it's tempting, but I think that's not correct. Yeah, because it's just showing me the image. It's not showing me times one or anything. So it's like they just placed as placeholders. And I don't think you get anything from it. Okay, so yeah, so they did fix the animation tie-in. So you do need characters now that associates with them. All right, interesting. Cool. I'm intrigued now. All right. So, I guess, I kind of tempted to want to do that, but I'm not gonna, so let's just not do that. So, out of curiosity, let's just go ahead and see, and Lucy, wow, Lucy is basically, path like, she's, she can't do anything until, yeah, seems interesting enough, weird. Let me just quickly go to, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, there's a bunch of characters, so let me just go to you real quick. Yeah, so that's the case. Yeah, that's what I think, so it's, like, supposed to drop items, but for some reason it doesn't. Yeah, that is very odd. Weird glitch. <laughs> so... You actually can just do eat some chocolate, so it gives us event currency, which is great. Uh, let's just see this real quick. This is dark. Eat some chocolate. And let me just quickly go to the broken character real quick, because last time... Let's just see this. Oh, yeah, no, there she is. Miss Broken herself. Well, that's, that's great. So I guess I do need to magnifying glass so thanks for helping me with the currency so that's cool i'm curious too to see if there's any other characters that actually break like that but i don't think so actually there might be one more and that's my character let's just quickly see for a quick second with my my homeboy there he is let's see this yeah, but he just drops like five and seven. Like, that's pathetic. You're pathetic. You suck. You're not like the OG Jillian here. I think they're going to fix that at some point. But uh, it's just still funny that, uh, yeah, she's like, if you have her, it's just like, yeah, you keep on using her. <laughs> oh, grind up those points, man. It's good for you. All right. So anyways, I think that's about it for now. There are some characters I know can do stuff. That are part of this, but for the life of me, I don't know all of them on the top of my head. So if I do, oh, yeah, Ricky, I know. So that's a giant rat, or that is a giant rat. Like, what? What are you talking about, Ricky? <laughs> or is that that meme where you just look at something and it's like, is this a rat? <laughs> uh, I guess like we're still not there Valentine's wise, but um, you know. Uh, or Easter, but uh, 
it still makes you think. Love hurts. Oh, God. I can only imagine. Alright, so I think I know a few more on the top of my head, like Yvonne. Blood filling. Alright. So I think some of these characters just go to the items and it's like, that's it. So it's not like anything too valuable there, but uh, still. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, I think it's another Easter character. Oh yeah, no, I know. You are available. This is very bright. Okay. That's interesting. Actually, go back to you for real quick, because I think... Give me a sec. No, it's still the same as before. I still love the fact that her hangover was... Bef before her hangover was like a, like a day and a half. It's ridiculous. Mr. Marcus, who wants to levitate? Okay. Yeah, so I'm sure in my event 101 I'll explain more about what's going on here. But I guess, you know, we've we've stalled long enough, so let's go ahead and uh, go with the the event. My Harry Valentine. Roses are red, violets are blue, monsters are fun, and now there's one new. Okay, so this is confirming, I guess, that this is taking place after the book. Interesting. Did I just hear there's a new monster in town? And did I just hear the fact that Slappy's talking? You're not supposed to be here anymore. Last year got ruined by your stupid thing, so I, I don't want to see you anymore again. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to drop it. I'm just going to move on. I'm going to pretend as if that whole thing didn't exist with you. I'm surprised you're not complaining that he's rhyming right now. Monster what's? Monster still. Noah was. Noah will. What? His name's Noah. Why are you talking like that? I was trying to put a valentine -y spin on things. Excuse me for being such a hopeless romantic. You're excused, Curly. But yes, there's a new monster in town, Noah. And he's trying to masquerade as a normal kid. Any plans for a new horror towner, Slappy? Interesting. So this is taking place after the event. Also, yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Look, look at. <laughs> There's Noah. <laughs> oh, look! It's it's Eric and like if Eric and Dustin did a fusion dance, there he is. <laughs> oh God, man! I get they're trying to look like the book, but sometimes the characters just look like merged characters. You know what I mean? Uh, well, I'm happy that there's still content now, so I'm curious about how this event's going to go. I'm going to give a guess that I'm going to assume that our dear... I'm sorry. What the hell is this? Why are you out in your monster form there? You're not supposed to be like this. What the f... Oh, wait a minute. What the... Ah... Uh... Uh, Mr. Fleshman, you're not supposed to be out in your monster form. <laughs> what, what's going on here? That's weird. That is weird. What the hell? <laughs> no other character than their monster form. Why is... Why the hell is Mortman is? He's supposed to be in a shady outfit, but no, this is like his monster form. What the... What's going on here? Alright, that's, that's obviously some sort of glitch. But, uh... Oh boy. Anyways, where was I before I got distracted by that mess? Alright, so I'm assuming that Noah is going to get to fall in love with Lucy here. And Lucy is going to be like, oh, you're a werewolf. You know, I'm assuming. And then, you know, Noah has his friends who are also werewolves. It's interesting because the original book, like I've explained before, was just generic monsters. Like, they didn't say, like, you know, it looked like, oh, a werewolf, but... Oh good, this is broken still. I'm glad to see that's still not fixed. They fix some things and break others. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah, mister, is is this a rat? <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes the dialogue, man, it's just uh, like the idea behind some things is just funny. Alright, so I'm curious to see what is actually going to be 
like animation task and which is actually going to be um you know actual uh things to go by but anyways yeah i think this is long enough so i guess i'll return in part two hopefully with some more information and once i once i do get more information i'll probably try to do an event 101 time to look at uh what to expect so yeah i guess that's it for now so uh looking forward to seeing how this turns out and yeah this is uh God, this is still wonky. It wouldn't be a Goosebumps game if it wasn't some wonky animations or task. Actually, you know what? Now that I mention it, screw it. Uh, it gives us 60%, so let's see. I want to see... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to see both of them. Screw it. Let's see this. Okay, wow. wow. Okay, so they're in there. They're doing, like, wolf actions here. So let's see this. Yeah, this is... Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, so we actually get to see... Yeah, so... Interesting. So they're act... So they're, like, fully, like, clothed werewolves. But they're... They, they're they acting like wolves. Interesting. Yeah, oh God, game, please, stop! I'll try to look at these individually, but, uh... Yeah. So we got you. So this is Monroe, I believe. Great, I lost track of him. And uh and I guess I have to find Liza. Yeah, so yeah, that's what he does. And Liza, she's down here. Can I not click on characters? Man, they actually go a little bit wild. Alright. So I'll try to focus on one at a time eventually. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm going to do. So this was just basically just a quick like quick look at them. But I'll do one at a time just to see exactly how this turns out. But yeah, so we got to go look at these two. Interesting. So I guess we get a good idea what, um, what our friend is going to look like near the end. And I get the monster thing. I doubt it, but let's find out. Once it wants to load in, that would be very helpful. Actually, wow, actually we did. Oh, really? Interesting. I never thought we would, but uh, there it was. All right, well, that's quite interesting indeed. I don't know what else I might be needing to do or look at, but I think for the most part, that's about it. So... Yeah, they basically just made a spiritual successor to this event. So, um, you know, the uh, Valentine Night Fever. And yeah, this still drops the same from before. Okay, so, yeah, I'm quite curious to see how this whole thing turns out. So, yeah, I'm excited. And as we usually do, let's just see this real quick because I want to see. So that's one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Really? Hmm. Well, I'll still do the four thing and then kind of... Because we have 13 this time around, so I'm trying to see if I can split them up properly. All right, we'll see what happens here, and uh, we'll go about from there. So, yeah, that's this is part one, or was part one. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how this turns out. And that is the end to this long part one of basically the beginning part of this reaction of how I felt. And, uh, yeah, I'm quite interested to see. Lots of meme potential and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's not, uh... My, uh, my Harry's Adventure, but uh, I'm sure I'm going to have some fun with this regardless. But I'm going to end it here because, you know, I think I took your time long enough. So I've been Grim, and this was part one to the My Harry Valentine's event, which is based off of my How I Met My Monster. So until then, hope you enjoyed your Valentine's Day, and uh, wonder if you met your monster too. Because you're about to find out. Soon enough. Soon <laughs> enough.